Hey what's up guys and welcome to your third Adobe Audition tutorial and in this I'm going to be talking about the multi-track so in order well, basically what this is is here we have a bunch of untitled audio files and then we have la 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 and with Audition you can combine these to make like a master like put everything together into a single file so this is called the multi-track so if we click file new multi-track session or control N as you can see we're going to name this first multi-track session subscribe <laughs> uh, and my folder location as you can see it's in my music folder doesn't really matter where now sampling rate that's I'm gonna drop this down to match my microphone here and then uh, click OK and yep that's all so now this is what it looks like and basically each one of these will be a different uh, bar to store files so we can put the la 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 file right here and then what we can do is we can play the entire la, group la, of la, files la. the entire group of files so I can drag this file down here too and well, yeah don't care so now I can play both of these together la, 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 we can see la, my voice uh, wave that that is impressive right so what, what we can also do is we can actually be quiet dog <sighs> What we can actually do is we can record in the multi-track too. So if you remember in the waveform, all we had to do was click this record button, and I could start recording just like this. See how I just over uh, recorded that, and then I can stop it. And if you ever screw anything up, we can click Edit Undo. So if I'm in the multi-track, what I have to do is prepare a a single track to record because if I click record, how is it going to know which track to insert it into? So I'm going to click track one and then down here we can see a little R it said arm for recording so this basically means it is monitoring my levels and it's ready to record so the next thing I do is just have to click this record button so let's try and make a song here sweet and now what we can do is we can turn that off and then mute it now we can go down here it's prepared to record then click record see sweet now uh, if we play this back it's going to sound horrible I promise oh yeah gotta unmute the other one All right so unmute this play these back together Ah, uh, yeah, turn it off. So, as you can see, it didn't really fit out so well. So what we can do is we can cut off the beginnings and make them line up straight. Okay, so what we can do is we can cut these shorter. So it's a little, and then sort of line them up. So that looks a little better. You can see that they're starting to line up. And then if I play it, it'll probably sound a little better. <laughs> so the, the beats didn't really match, but... <laughs> that's cool okay so if you wanted to finish the file what we can do is click multi-track and then X well, no sorry mix down session to a new file entire session and what this is going to do just like how we had original la 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 files and my beatboxing which was pretty horrible this is now a single file in itself so if I play it it's going to be those two files put together which are pretty horrible so from here, I can save this file, file, save. And I'm going to name this Beatbox That Sucks Really Bad, because it was pretty horrible. And I'm going to save it in WAV format, and that's all good. So I click OK, and then you can see I have a new file saved. A my la 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 file. La la la. Then I have my Beatbox in the file. So that is the basics of the multi-track and in the next video I'm actually going to be teaching you more about using Adobe Audition as in knowing what to do when I mean I know that doesn't make any sense so just watch my next video it will be sweet and subscribe thank you